In this day and age, many lawyers have a particular area of concentration or specialty that they tend to focus on. That is why certain cases might get referred from one lawyer to another lawyer if the case is not within the first lawyer's area of expertise. If you are a bankruptcy lawyer, or if you are a divorce lawyer, or you're a criminal lawyer, and somebody comes to you who's been injured in an accident, then you may want to refer that case to a lawyer with personal injury experience because that is not your area of expertise, the personal injury business. It depends a little bit on how complicated the case is. Oftentimes, lawyers who do personal injury work come across a case that is beyond their comfort zone, such as maybe a medical malpractice case, where if you don't know the anatomy and if you don't know how to decide what the standard of care is that a doctor or a hospital ought to abide by, then you really should not be doing a medical malpractice case. Product liability cases tend to be fairly complicated. You have engineering issues, uh, you have issues trying to prove how a manufacturer mismanufactured a product or designed a product incorrectly, and that requires a certain level of skill and expertise that a lot of lawyers don't have even if they're in the personal injury business. Aviation accidents and airplane crash litigation would be something that obviously would be beyond the realm of most persons who don't have a piloting background or an engineering background. So on all of these matters, if a lawyer has a case that comes into his or her office, but it really is outside their realm of experience, then they would run refer that case to another attorney. It it's just makes sense for the client to get the best legal advice from an attorney who's really got the experience in the area that the client needs to be focused on.